Hello and welcome to our first video tutorial about using SDSoc to program our Cybo board. What we want to do now is build a small Linux system for the Cybo board and write a little application in C to spam Hello World on the UART. Let's start. We're creating a new SDSoc project and we're naming it Video Tutorial. Maybe put a 1 on it because there will be more following. Uh, on pla as platform we're using our Cybo board and we want to run a Linux on it and we're doing that with an empty application because we write some little C code to spam the hello world on our own. First we get uh, the project overview and we're not quite interested in that right now. We're interested in that source folder which got created here and doing a new source file which we name main C and get an empty canvas where we can put our C code into the file. Um, we're using the standard I.O. for input and output. Create a main and what we want to do inside here is doing an endless loop in which we wait for some little input from the UART and get back a hello world. So we're using scanf which most of you should be familiar with to wait for a character and put it into the char variable and after that we print a hello world in return. That's our little application. The question now is how do we get this application with a Linux system onto our cyber board? And that's one of the main advantages of SDSoc because it's really easy. Uh, first of all, I right click on the video tutorial 1 on our project in the project explorer and set the build configuration to SD release. Uh, if you have bigger projects, you sure want to debug before you release, but with this little one we can go directly to the release. After that we only have to build all that stuff and the rest is done by SDSoc automatically. What you see is we got created an SD release folder and inside that we're waiting for an SD card folder which will contain all the stuff we need to put on our SD card. Take that SD card enter it into the cyber board in, in the SD card reader from the cyber board, power the board up and it will directly boot into that Linux. You will see that just in a minute. Here is the SD card folder and all of that stuff in the SD card folder I'm copying onto the SD card. This is my SD card I'm using for the cyber. Let's paste all that stuff into unmounted and what you now cannot see is I'm taking that SD card put it into the card reader of the Cybo power the Cybo up and open up the terminal program oh there's some stuff from before now I have to do the configuration of the port where I take the device TTY USB 1 put it on the right baud rate And now ah, there we have our Linux running. We have a file system on the Cybo already mounted and inside that file system there is that mount folder where we can find all the content on the SD card. So let's get into that folder and see what's inside and as you can compare all the stuff from the left on the SD card which we copied on the SD card is now right here already mounted and we can directly start that video tutorial elf on the cyber board which was that what we wanted to do and now every time I'm hitting enter I get in return a hello world if I spam some more characters into the scan F buffer we get more hello worlds immediately and yes we got a small Linux system running, we got a small application running, spamming Hello World to the UART. So that's it for so far.